So we're going to talk about um, an Innovation Days project that you guys worked on with virtual reality. So basically, virtual reality, you stick this thing on your face, this headset, and it has two screens in there, one for each eye. You have two track controllers that are basically your hands in VR. And so you can walk around the space and it'll track you where you are, and it'll track where you're looking and where your hands are. So what we wanted to do was make some kind of a model viewer where you could um, be in a space, in a virtual space, and import any 3D uh, model file you had on your machine and you could that object would appear in front of you you could pick it up and look at it and you could make it bigger or smaller and yeah just play with it so any it works with any 3d format any 3d format that FME can read I particularly uh, purchased the HTC Vive which is one of the new things on the market there mm -hmm. and we thought hey we like virtual reality we like FME let's see what we can do by putting them together so what are some of the differences between this headset and other ones like HoloLens? Yeah, so the big difference between HoloLens, which is augmented reality, and the HTC Vive, which is virtual reality, is um, augmented reality, you're kind of seeing the real world through a piece of glass, and it's, it's putting uh, 3D objects into the world, whereas virtual reality is um, your eyes are completely covered and all you can see is the virtual world. Augmented reality is probably something that's more likely to go more mainstream, Whereas virtual reality is more like transporting you completely to another world. Yeah. And I wouldn't be surprised if in the future there will be headsets that do both. So it'll be something like the HoloLens where you can see the real world, but then you can, it, you know, instead of just placing an object, it'll just cover your entire vision. Why do we care about it at Safe Software? What might this lead to? I think you can look at it from the outside and it seems like, oh, this is just another way to view 3D models. Why wouldn't I just do this on my monitor? It's the same thing. And I think there's something different and compelling about having that object in your hand, even if it's virtually yeah. in your hand. I think a big thing is, is like the scope of it too. Like when you're viewing a model on your screen, you, you see it, you know, it's, it's there on your screen, but you don't really get a sense of the scale of it. Uh, when you're looking at something in virtual reality, if you have a bridge model or something like that, you can scale it up to actual size, like relative to yourself, and, and you really get a feel for how large or, you know, something is. That's it, true, yeah. I, I do think virtual reality and augmented reality is like the new medium. It's the new, it's the next thing. It's not quite here yet. I mean, we have these consumer versions, but it's not mainstream yet, but I think it will be given time. It feels to me a little bit like the, we're starting with baby steps in virtual reality, kind of like the way mobile applications started. There's sort of this big rush where there are a bunch of possibilities in, for apps that hadn't been created yet. And then sort of this big rush into the space where a lot of people were trying to make all these new ideas. And you know, now with mobile marketers, if you can imagine, there's an app for it now. But it's sort of just starting now in the virtual reality space where um, people are just getting started and there could be you know, educational tools or you know, like professional modeling tools and all sorts of things that could be done in a different way and people are just getting started. Like it's, it's potentially the dawn of something new, something big here. The possibilities are endless of what you can do. It's basically like programming your reality, right? And uh, just the, the amount of things that, the amount of ideas that are out there and the amount of people working on it right now is small. So yeah, it's, now is the time to get in and, and play with these things. and. Uh, yeah, code your new ideas.